it's um <clears throat> it's starting to rain here just a little bit so um we'll darken the sky um It's uh, dangerous to follow religious leaders if you don't know them very well. In God's people, it's even more dangerous to follow religious leaders outside of God's people. So when you see somebody on TV that insist that you follow them or give them money you don't know who you're giving money to what they're doing is a performance and that goes for the Pope Jesus said call no one on earth teacher and yet we've got um, pastors and and um, Popes and a lot of us say, "Well, this this is my great guy. I want to follow him." Jesus was among the people. He wasn't on TV, and some of them he asked them to follow him. But it's Jesus who we should follow and not some quote unquote evangelist, not some so called evangelist, not some prophet. Jesus said, call no one on earth Father, for you have one Father, and he is in heaven. Call no one on earth Teacher, for you have one Teacher, the Christ. Call no one on earth Leader. The concept is we're not supposed to have leaders and fathers. And, you know, like a, like the, like this is the Father on earth. The Father is not on earth, he's in heaven. Jesus makes that clear. Um, he said, call no one earth rabbi or teacher. So, oh, you're, you're a rabbi. Could be a teacher, but you're not teacher. Oh, teacher, teacher, teacher. You see it in these cults. And we think it's got nothing to do with us. Call no one on earth teacher. If you have one teacher, say, well, he is a teacher among several. That makes it seem like that if there are several teachers and they're not given positions above each other, then there's, and then it implies there's going to be somebody over them. But when you say, oh, teacher, Lord, Master, Father. That implies they're the only one.
we're not supposed to look up to a pastor. Say, well, this is the pastor of this church. The pastor of the church, the Bible makes it clear the pastor of a church is Christ, not the Pope and not your preacher. There are pastors or shepherds mean the same thing where you get the word we get the get the name pastor is from is from French. Or you get the name pasture is from the word pastor, which which um, I think came from Latin, but it's in French too. You get the name Louis Pasteur. Pasture means place where the sheep graze. A pastor. Pasteur spelt spelt, you know, spelled differently, pronounced a little differently, is the place where sheep graze. A pastor is one who takes care of them. So that's fine. But why, I mean, the Bible makes clear there's there's more than one pastor in a city. And so we're going to say, we're going to segment ourselves out and follow this man. And you set him up and, and put him down. Set him up and knock him down, just like Bowen. He's our pastor. Oh, he says something we don't like. He's not our pastor. And this is decided by not by, not by authority from God, but it's kind of like grassroots coming up. Instead of saying, God said, okay, this is what I'm setting up down here. My people, it's like, well, okay, well, we like this person. Let's raise them up. We decide. And, and, I, and it's done by a board. Or it's done by um, maybe you know in the church I went to his call it was considered to be done by the elders of the church. The elders of the church would pick a pastor. The elders are supposed to be pastors, so what are they doing picking a pastor? Well, let's say, well, we'll call a minister. And since by now, some of you may know what church that I used to go to. But um, we'll call them a minister, and that'll be different. Well, if there are gifts of ministry, then can you tell me why there's only one in a church, per church? It would be kind of like looking at The Old Testament saying there's a prophet. I mean, you know, saying there are prophets. Well, there are only one. There's only one prophet in the Old Testament. You know, Jesus was called the prophet in the Bible. There's, always, there's supposed to be more than one. There's supposed to be more than one pastor. There's supposed to be more than one prophet. There's supposed to be one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and God and Father of all. Was overall and in all and through, overall and through all and in you all. So why making lords out of people who are supposed to be our servants? Just made it clear. I said I've come to serve, and yet. Without authority, we've got people telling us what we're going to do.